Hi guys. Over the years, running writers in concepts, people have always asked us, how did you start? How did you get into the business of writing? How did you meet Topware? <laughs> how did this whole partnership business thing, how did it start? And so we're here today to tell you our story. For me, I've always, you know, I've always loved reading. I've always loved watching films. I grew up in a house where my father liked people to read. Like, whatever level you were ready to go, he was ready to, you know, see you through to that level. But then I had a mom who loved to watch films. She she liked, we used to watch a lot of Yoruba films back in those days. Then there wasn't, you know, there wasn't Nollywood as mm -hmm. we have it now. Mm -hmm. What we had was, you know, Yoruba filmmakers and then the Eastern it's filmmakers, the other filmmakers. So I watched Nineka, The Pretty Serpent, Living in Bondage and all of that. So I grew up from a Muslim home. Mm -hmm. And so when we go to Arabic school, I would tell my friends about the films that I saw. And then they would come back and be like, oh my God, the way you said that film, it felt as if I was watching it and everything, you know. And as I grew older, I just found that that... I wanted to write. I just wanted to write. I saw my sister writing with it. I was like, ah, okay, see me see through blue. <laughs> this girl that I thought how to read is writing a book. So I, I picked up a pen and a paper. There were no laptops, mm -hmm. of course. So. Yeah. And then I started writing in my book and all of that. And over the years, I worked on a book, A Walk on Water, which is now available for free, actually, on my website. That will be displayed on the screen. Mm -hmm. And... Writing that book, I just told myself, I'm going to start this book and I'm going to finish it. And then I went for service. I came back. I met Mr. Inka. Inka Agum. He asked me, he said, why do you want to write? And I, I thought it was a very strange Weird question. <laughs> why are you asking me why I want to write? I'm like, because I like writing. I said, hey. I said, yes. He said, okay. So you know that professionally, if you were going to write, it cannot just be about the fact that you like it. You have to look at your laptop and you have to be able to write. Whether or not you feel like Whether it. Whether or not you feel like it. I didn't understand the impact of what he said to me that day, but it stayed with me. Mm -hmm. And so I, when I finished school, I worked with a brand firm briefly. I now met Joy's brother. Okay. Michael. So Joy Ayegbeni, at the day, she's not married, Joy Grant. And I met her brother, Michael. Mm -hmm. And that day, he now said to me, he said, you're so passionate about filmmaking. Like, I, I can't remember what we, were saying, what we were discussing, but I knew that he said to me, you're so passionate about filmmaking. I have a sister who works with Tintel. And mm -hmm. of course, Tintel was like the, uh, ah, that, that was, was the, the in thing. Your <laughs> <laughs> sister, you are made. You know? So, as far as we're concerned. Uh, so when, she when he told me, oh, I have a sister, she's a line producer with Tintel, I'm like, ah. Um, please give me a number let me call her you know like i just mm -hmm. i wanted to get into the industry mm -hmm. so i gave joy a call and then joy said to me i'm so busy i'm very busy the only place you're going to meet me is in church now the funny thing was like i said i grew up in a muslim home the moment i got born again i started attending living faith mm -hmm. so i i told god i said i need a church where i can attend where i don't want to come back to lagos and all my spirituality will fly out the window because i know how lagos can be and so I started trying to look for a church that I wanted to go in my neighborhood then. So I went to church. The moment I walked into that place, I just knew this is what I've been looking for. This is the church that I have been looking for. You know, so I, I walked into Davis Christian Center and I was just like, this is the place. This is it. So that meeting that day was not like it was grand or anything fantastic came out of it. I can't remember what Joy told me. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think she told me something about go and check online for a guild or something. I checked online, I didn't really see anything at that time, mm -hmm. you know. But and then I joined the drama and I said, Oh, they have different units in the drama department. Which unit do you want to join? Of course, naturally, <laughs> I decided that I wanted to join the screen script the writing, writing unit, mm -hmm. and that was when I met you because you then <laughs> well, you were the leader of the script, script writing, writing unit. Yeah. So maybe you want to tell us how you got into this system because that, okay. that was my journey into this system. <laughs> okay, so. So I'll start from my own beginning. So as a child, I, I loved stories. I loved movies. 
anyhow the story is a book play i will read plays i was reading everything and anything and watching watching movies we didn't have um all the tv time that's available now so tv will start by four yeah true. <laughs> and by seven news your mother said go and sleep you know but that little time yeah. anything cartoons i would watch it and then i would go to school true. and gist people they would God, there was in fact there was a time that my class in primary school they never saw they never saw my class at break time they never went out to break time so they had wow. to come and check what's happening in this class and at break time everybody will surround me Are you i would just them plus one that happened plus one that did not happen i will <laughs> form and everybody will be listening so that was that was wow. me yeah and then um because oh she's brilliant she wears glasses everybody mm. assumed that she should be in science, science class, class. And me, so that was the thing. Now everybody, ah, you're yeah, in science class, you're respected. Ah, you're the, ah, ah. So I said, okay, I'll go to science class. And then I went to science class. It wasn't exciting, but I was passing. Yeah, same here. I was excited, I was passing. And I was one of the only science students, maybe were a few, or I was the only one, I can't remember, who was doing literature. So I offered <laughs> literature and I was in science class. Can you imagine? And those were my steady two A1s, English and literature. The other one, C4, C4. You I was just your calling. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> I loved my literature teacher. I loved literature class. It was, oh God. So, you know, going, I did, this should have been a red flag, but yeah. no, no, I didn't get it. Mm -mm. I wrote down, they said, do medicine, do medicine. I wasn't sure I wanted to really do medicine because when I, my brother was a medical doctor yeah. and it just seemed like a whole lot of stress. So at that time, in SS3, I fixed braces because okay. my teeth were a bit scattered. And so I met my dentist. She had clinic was at the bottom, was downstairs, and her house was upstairs. Okay. So when we would come, they would call her. She just come downstairs. I just felt like, ah, this is the easy this life. life. <laughs> she they call. She they're calling her doctor, mm -hmm. and she's not really doing much. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, the babe was doing well. Her house was in Dolphin Estate, beautiful house, oh, fine shit. cars. I don't know that husband was rich, <laughs> but. <laughs> I just felt like this was the life yeah. and this was what I wanted to do. So I wrote my jam. I put dentistry first and second choice. Wow. I got no merit. I started doing dentistry. It was okay. The first three years was majorly theory, read your, once you read your anatomy, read your physiology, you passed 400 level. We started mm -hmm. going to the clinic and I just knew this is a lie. <laughs> this is not where I'm oh supposed to be. What? So I called home in tears. I said, I'm not doing it again. Are you serious? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even playing. I called them. I said, you see this dent? Um, I'm coming home. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> and so my mom, my, my sisters, they started begging me. Hey, you're almost finished now. Abby? Four years. What's remaining? If it's if you just finish it, then some... I was still say no, I'm not going. Then my eldest sister... No, my, my, not my eldest sister. The one after the eldest. She called. She said, eh... I heard they say you don't want to do it again. So it's even good said my asset has gone. Uh, come to just come on to ourselves for me. I will put table outside if selling tomato seeds. You don't want to be serious. Uh, ah. Immediately I cleaned my tears. I said, okay, I'll shall do it somehow. <laughs> you know, I just felt like this wasn't where I was supposed to be, but mm -hmm. I felt like I'd gone too far. You yeah. know, when where am I getting stuff from? Yeah. Will I write jam again? Uh, Will I start from year one again? Gosh. No way. So I was just Strongly. you know, I just it will soon be over. Know, it will soon be you. over. And finally it was over and so you've done seven years how do you start again and then at this time i had my my elder sister pastor Mildred kings yokonko who's now married to the senior pastor of david fiston center mm -hmm. so i came to the church okay. I, at first i was attending as a guest and the drama unit did something oh. and i just you know how you're sitting there and just feeling this is good but it can't be better wow. <laughs> so a lot of things just went through my head. I said, hey, they had done this, if they had done this, if they had done that. So the next time I came, I had written something for them. So I wrote something and I gave it just by on paper. You know how very primitive kind of writing. Just put John dot dot. This is what this person will say, you know. So I wrote it on a sheet of paper and then I gave it, I came to me, my sister, and I said, I'm, I, I want to give this to the drama mm, unit. Let it. them you know, do it and act it and you know, she's like, eh, hey, okay. So she called, then it was um, Pastor B. Then it was H O D <laughs> of drama. drama. So she called Pastor B and she said, um, ah, they brought they gave you people something. Don't better hold down. Don't let her go. <laughs> I'm like, no. Yes, I said no, I just came to drop it. And then he said what? And then he told me that they said, You are an answer to prayer. Mm. Like we prayed 
for somebody who will be able to tell our story so we can actually have an answer to prayer and not going anywhere. Wow. And so that was it, you know, joined the department, started writing. And then I will just write something and everybody was like, hey, we were so blessed. Oh, it was so amazing. I'm like, hey. <laughs> I didn't think anything. I literally didn't think anything of my gifts. In fact, there were times when Pastor K would preach about doing something with your gifts or knowing what you're gifted in. And I'll still be asking people, what do you think I'm good at? Oh. Yeah, I asked. I kept on asking people like, I don't think I'm like, what do you guys think I'm good at? I don't think I'm good at anything. And they were looking at me like, what does this one say? <laughs> And then I remember Tokwe joined the department. I didn't think anything of it. Oh, hi, Tokwe. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah, like we were so... <laughs> we were not even... It was not like we were even close or anything. Mm -mm. I remember that it was when Mama wanted us to do a car that we went to the house. So I'll tell you how you got to the house. Oh, because there were okay. a lot of people that were in the script writing unit. Oh. So I sent... I'm um, ahead of <laughs> before. Let me sit up. So <laughs> when we wanted to do a car... Okay. No, it was before Ekan. We had done something else and we had written the script. Yeah. And so I sent the script to, you know, some of the people who just joined. I think it was you and two other people. And so I sent it to Tokwe. And the two other people just went, oh, it's okay. You know, like, oh, it's good. And then Tokwe called me and said, it's not formatted properly. I did? Yes, you did. I can't remember. It's not formatted <laughs> properly. It's not this, this, this. Oh, do you mind if I, re like, edit it, if I re reformat it and work yeah. on the typos and everything i'm like i don't mind <laughs> and so she reformatted it she brought you rewrote it and you sent it i'm like wow it can't be this good because the other people just said oh it's okay but she went no it can be better so you had this it can always be better attitude oh. <laughs> and then when so when person said oh, they wanted to work on air can i should get some people on board for say no-brainer so where come to the house we want to work Are on you something serious? yeah I have no idea so that was how you got on board with oh. Ekan. So Ekan was our first major drama, um, drama stage play stage, that we yeah. did in church. I think it was, I don't even know how we did it, but I know everybody was supposed to sort of write different parts. Yes. And then we were supposed to send it to exactly. you. Exactly. So you wrote your part. And when I saw it, I threw it out. <laughs> Are you serious? I told everybody, see, this is the, this is the templates. Everybody, yeah, this is the templates we're following. So I, I think that one of the things that drew me to you was your spirit of excellence. Aww. You always felt like if it's not as excellent as possible, I'm not sending it out. I'm not no, giving it to now, God. Yeah. Till now. Yeah. Till now. Yeah. So, you know, that was something that I just felt like, oh, the rest of us just shall did it. Oh. And so when I saw you, I was like, ah, everybody sit up. Everybody <laughs> sit up. So I sent it to the other people. I said, okay. this is, this is the... This is the benchmark. Okay. If it's not this good, don't send it to me. I don't want to see it. 